Svedka spiked premium seltzer may not be the best, but it can serve a purpose. Hey there, NJ, root22.com here with another quick uh, alcohol review. And this today it's about Svedka. Does it focus? Svedka. Svedka. Spiked premium seltzer. This is uh, an interesting um, product because it's only two grams and it's a little bit above. I, I like to do one or zero grams of carbs, but this one I, I decided to entertain because it's only two grams of carbs. But the, the big kicker here is that it is 6% alcohol, which is profoundly more alcohol than my favorite um, seltzer, which is the Smirnoff Spiked Sparkling Seltzer, which is four and a half percent alcohol. So it's like um, it's like thirty percent more alcohol. Uh, no, ten. No, wait, wait. Dun, 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 I'm doing the math. Nine. Five point four. So it's like twenty-five percent more alcohol per can than the Smirnoff Spiked Sparkling Seltzer. Um, but that's not all. It's not all about alcohol, um, but that we'll come back to that in a minute. First of all, this is a bubbly drink. It tastes, tastes like alcohol, and they call it Spiked Premium. There's three flavors in this variety pack, and they've uh, actually differentiated themselves. Most four, uh, 12 packs have four cans, four different flavors, and three cans of each. This has three flavors and four cans of each. Big whoop, right? Um, but that could pose a problem because there's three flavors, wild strawberry, cucumber, lime, and ruby red grapefruit. And I'll be the first to say probably that I don't really like any of these flavors at all. Um, maybe I would, if I had to rank them, I would say ruby red grapefruit is the best, um, followed by wild strawberry, which almost had no taste at all. And then cucumber lime. I hate to say, it tastes a little bit like your mouth does after you throw up. Um, it wasn't horrible, like the actual taste of throw up, but it had more of a not so horrible remnant of throw up. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, my first time drinking this, I tasted, I drank it only. I didn't have vodka, I didn't have anything else except this, and I water, I water my drinks down with non-alcoholic seltzer because I like to get a quart of drink and I'm the only one that does this but it's important that I mention it every time because that's it helps uh, maintain continuity between my reviews I'm not drinking it straight one day and then I'm, I'm always consistent so the six percent so it works out to about like if you drink th three cans of this it's about the same as four cans of another drink. Um, or if you drink four of these, it's like five, six cans of another drink. Um, so since the taste isn't that great, I, I'm never going to drink these, uh, these seltzers alone. Um, although the 6% gives you a nice kick. Uh, it's hard for me to get to the point here. My point is that this, I would, I'll always buy my Smirnoff Spike Sparkling Seltzer first. And I've been doing something um, very unusual. I've been mixing the Crook and Marker Seltzer in. I'll do like, uh, I have all these wacky formulas where I do like a half a can of Smirnoff, a quarter can of Svetka, and a quarter can of Crook and Marker. And it's a very nice tasting drink. Um, the Svetka doesn't ruin it. The... Um, Crook and Marker doesn't oversweeten it, and the Smirnoff rounds it out nice. And then you mix in whatever else you have to mix in. But this, when I drank these uh, alone with my with no other additives, I found that the buzz was good. It was almost a, a stupefying buzz. I, I you become a little unstable. And I mean, the reason I won't drink these alone anymore is I don't, I just don't like the flavor. I. I don't think they're enjoyable at all, but when I mix them, uh, the, it gets counteracted. So 
But the reason this is, um, it serves a purpose is because you're getting more, it's about 15 bucks for a 12 pack, going price, you know, market price. It serves a purpose because of the higher alcohol content. 12 cans of this is probably equal to about 15 or 16 cans of another brand. So you get more for your money. Um, for someone who really wants to drown in their miseries, um, it's not a bad uh, option. And the fact that it's fairly low carb, well, very low carb, but just not as low carb as the White Claw Pure or Smirnoff, I mean, 12, 12 grams of carbs difference over another 12 pack of Smirnoff isn't going to kill anybody. So I'll keep it in my rotation. I may, you know, buy a, a 12 pack just to keep keep in the prepping shelf um, to have, you know, as an emergency backup or if you want to like heighten the alcohol on, on one of your drinks, you can throw some of this higher octane um, beverage in there. But the flavors are crap. They should have had me on the uh, taste tasting panel when I uh, when they were creating them because they're they're really awful maybe that's just a byproduct of the six percent that they can't just get it to taste good but they should maybe call crook and marker and say hey can I borrow some of your erythritol recipes maybe we can sweeten it that way a little bit but that's it it's a little uh, something for you to consider if you're in the spiked seltzer um, market have a good weekend